Hey, what's up? Life Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2012 action adventure thriller film, The Amazing Spider Man. This is directed by Mark Webb. Stars our beloved Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, a slew of other people are in this. This centers around pretty much a backstory of Peter, like a backstory of his parents that we didn't see in the Tobey Maguire films, and also the introduction of Dr. Kirk Connors as the Lizard. We get Dr. Kirk Connors in the Tobey films, but we don't see him as the Lizard. So this we see him as the Lizard, one central villain, done. So Emma and Andrew were dating during this movie, or were they dating during the second movie? I don't remember, but they were dating for a long time, and I loved the two of them together, and then they broke up, and I was devastated. But I have a picture of them somewhere in my room. Um, it was an Entertainment Weekly spread from nine years ago, and uh, I took a picture right out of the magazine and I put it on my wall of just the two of them staring beautifully in the camera, and they're just gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, I love, I've, I've expressed how much I love their acting numerous times um, because of their believability, especially when they're crying. I know I talked about the two of them specifically individually, but then also like Dylan O'Brien, like the way that they cry on camera is very realistic, the kind of thing, and uh, just gross slime and red eyes and oh love it so believable so we get some we get some backstory on peter's parents there was a peter's dad was a scientist he was working with dr kirk connors for oscorp and they were trying to find this serum this means of uh genetic cross crossing genetics so can you put lizard dna into a human to grow back an arm because Lizards can grow back arms and like humans can't, so, but like Dr. Kirk Connors wants to grow back his missing arm. So like there's a thing and uh, Peter's smart. So he's going through his stuff. Uh, Fle the kid who plays Flash Thompson in this is a badass and it's pretty neat seeing that, you know, bully, bullied dynamic and then like having the tables turn and then like they're mutually cool at the end. I thought that was pretty neat. But this is two hours and 12 minutes long. Very long movie. But very long in in an in a spider-man sense because i don't think the other ones are that long i could be wrong to be honest i don't remember but this one just goes so quick my favorite scene of this entire film and it gives me chills every single time i see it is when uh the lizard is starting to climb up the oscorp building in town manhattan all the 54th and below has to evacuate it's just terror running through the streets of manhattan it's just actual it's absolute terror gwen is up in in oscorp tower trying to create the serum that has to be added to the uh ganavi ganali ganali uh, machine which creates a cloud and then disperses the antidote accordingly you know around the citizens to make the lizard infected people human again and we did talk about the similarities recently within the city of the play god that gorgeous book that that was by a uh, charwood i can't say his name chata awesome dude we talked very briefly on instagram he's awesome he's never seen the amazing spider-man but the similarities between the plots of boy with special abilities um has to fight monsters in manhattan and then creates an antidote to be put into a cloud to then rain down on people which then cures the monsters in manhattan it's the same plot and i love it i'm curious if that plot derived from marvel comics is based off the mesopotamian myths that this book was based off of like i said we talked about it i could praise the city of the play god for hours i don't have that time though so yeah it's it's this is a great story the the story we were given is great because it gives us the backstory that we didn't have within the toby films so there's a bunch of different spider-man stories about the different characters like there are stories where he's dating mary jane in high school and there's stories where he's dating gwen stacy in high school and this one has gwen stacy in it we had Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy. Bryce Dallas Howard played Gwen Stacy in the last film, but they were postgraduate of high school, you know, late college-ish during the time Peter and Gwen started to get together in uh, the Toby film. But it's just different, and that's the point, and it's cool um, seeing all that. So back to my favorite scene. Um, it's dramatic, dramatic music. The crane operators on 6th Avenue raise the 90-degree the angle cranes so that way spidey can swoop from crane to crane to get north so that way he can get to oscorp tower quickly to help defeat the lizard with captain stacy as well who then perishes um but the the lead you know construction guy is like hey that's the cue said my my boy we gotta help him because you see like spidey was shot in the leg and like he puts his web on and he's trying to get there and it's just very dramatic and like overcoming and 
starting with the leap and then the run and then the jump and it's just it's so cool and a lot of this a lot of this cinematography is neat because you get a lot of pov point of view shots of spider-man so it feels like you're in a video game i don't know it was like very vr um for something nine years ago and the graphics still hold up nine years later i must say so one more film we have the amazing spider-man 2 to discuss and then we're all caught up for our Multiverse of Madness, when we get to our Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness in 2022. Are you ready? I am. We can do this. Let's go. Mahalo.